Welcome to the weekly Interceptor Explained playlist, where I explain topics and concepts about air and missile defense. This week, we will focus on the importance of the AMD liaison known as the ADAFTO. In the United States Army, the Air and Missile Defense Command, AAMDC, deploys liaison teams to major theater C2 headquarters to ensure Army AMD assets are integrated and synchronized in joint operations. For instance, the Air Force's Theater Air Control System, commonly known as TACS, relies on Army augmentation through liaisons for surface-to-air expertise. Additionally, Navy or Marine Corps Regional Air Defense Commander or Sectional Air Defense Command rely on expert Army liaisons if they have Army AMD capabilities within their region or sector. Army Air and Missile Defense Command, commonly referred to as AAMDC, provides supporting and coordinating solutions through the Air Defense Fire Control Officer, called an ADAFCO. The ADAFCO position was created during Operation Iraqi Freedom to prevent fratricides. ADAFCOs are trained to manage multiple battalions of air and missile defense fire units and protect friendly assets. The ADAFCO is a center of gravity for integrating Army air and missile defense operations into the Joint Integrated Air Defense Systems. The ADAFCO is a single point of contact between Army land-based AMD fire direction centers and the Joint and Army Controlling Authority. According to U.S. Joint Publication 3-01, the ADAFCO is required in any region, area, or sector of an air defense command where Army air and missile defense capabilities are employed. The ADAFCO has many roles, such as coordinating Army air and missile defense for designated areas, monitoring the tracking and engagement activities of ADA fire units, and being an expert advisor to the regional sector or area air defense commander. Army ADAFCOs are trained to be experts on air and missile defense engagements, capabilities limitations, training of ADA units, defense planning, and communicating at all echelons. Army ADAFCOs are separated by coordination tiers when both upper and lower tier engagement systems are present in a given region. The double AMDC ADAFCO performs the role of upper tier ADAFCO, where they coordinate upper tier ballistic missile engagements between the Aegis and THAAD weapon systems. The Brigade ADAFCO, or lower tier ADAFCO, is responsible for lower tier or endo-atmospheric engagements within a region. Lower tier engagements include thermal phase engagements of ballistic missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and other air-breathing threats. The Brigade ADAFCOs are normally located with the Control and Reporting Center, or Tactical Air Operations Center, but can be placed on any element that is acting as a RADC or SADC, such as an AWACS or Naval Cruiser. The ADAFCOs bring the human element back into the decision-making process to decrease the chances of friendly-on-friendly events. The monitoring and prevention of these types of engagements make this position indispensable to air ground operations. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more air and missile defense topics. And remember, power to the ADAFCOs.